Ricky has a question for us. I've wasted decades trying to do what I thought was expected of me. How do I let go of this perfect idea of who I'm supposed to be? I think this goes back to the intense perfectionist, Mm -hmm. where there's some sort of crystalline endpoint. Mm -hmm. I just want to be happy is often once. There can be a nebulous endpoint. I want to be happy. I want to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. I want to be free. I want to be fulfilled. Or it can be specific in the sense that I want a million dollars, a million followers, a million pats on the back, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. We think that we want happiness, a perpetual bliss, but not realizing that when you get that, it's actually mania. Mm -hmm. It's not what we're seeking. We think we are seeking the things that we aren't even seeking. And so when I look at Ricky's question here, hey, I've wasted decades trying to do what I thought was expected of me. How do I let go of the perfect idea of this is who I'm supposed to be? Yeah. Mm. And I feel like Ricky is speaking on behalf of humankind because we've all done that and we'll all continue to do that in ways that sneak up on us. And he's in a really, or she is in a really powerful position right now Mm. because what they're recognizing is that I am behaving, that's called behavioral perfectionism, in the way that I think I'm supposed to. And it goes back to the how and why guiding questions Mm -hmm. about whether your perfectionism is healthy. And the why to his question is that so that I can be accepted by whomever is expecting these things, right? Whether it's society or their parents or their partner or whatever. And how am I doing it? I'm doing it in a way that makes me miserable. Mm. That is making me feel like I am a one-dimensional person and that I am not fully alive, And so I would, you know, just be able to take a moment and say, thank God, energy, the universe, however you want it, your highest self, the language is irrelevant, that you are aware of this now. Mm. You are in a place of power where you're Mm. starting to understand, oh, I deserve joy now, not an excellent plan to be very happy later. Like, and being able to have language around that and say, that is what self-worth is. And I have self-worth. If he, if he or she or they did not have self-worth, there would be no frustration. So the feeling mm. of frustration and disappointment in self, and I would say despair, because that sounds like a long history, is really just coming up to inform the person that they are ready for a new way of living. Yeah, it, it mm. sounds like their self-worth comes from how other people think of them. So if they're constantly trying to live up to other people's expectations, they are essentially looking for approval with a certain group or certain person, whatever it is. Um, Living up to other people's expectations, like putting other people's expectations before your own is like this perfect recipe for discontent, I feel like. And I know it sounds kind of selfish because what I'm saying is, is like, hey, your expectations come first and live up to those. And then if you want to take on other people's expectations, great. Like that's okay to do that. Mm -hmm. But if you're not living up to Mm -hmm. what you expect of yourself, like Mm -hmm. that is, there's always, it's always going to feel like a mess inside. Completely. And I think another great way to reframe that is you cannot show up for other people, for your community, for your kids, for you know, your friends, when you are living in that way, because it's not even you that the person is getting. Mm. It's just like actor tryouts. Mm. It's like the you where it's like, uh, um, do you like this now? And we're not actually, we don't feel safe around people who aren't themselves. We feel unsure. We can't quite get a temperature, emotional temperature on them. You're not fully present. You can't be fully present and trying to control impression management. Mm. And so when we're around people who aren't fully present, we kind of back away a little bit. And when you're around someone who's present and who is allowing themselves to be their whole full self, it's like intoxicating. Mm -hmm. You're like, I've never met anybody like you Mm -hmm. because you haven't. Because Mm. if you let yourself really be yourself, instead of worrying about, the proverbial like likes and not likes you're going to get on every comment and and career choice and your home decor or whatever, Mm -hmm. then, you know, 
people, I think, are so drawn to that because it awakens them to the presence inside themselves. Mm. And because you feel alive, you give other people more license to feel alive and more permission to do things the way that they want to do them. Mm -hmm. Like some people are not here to be on the same kind of path of consciousness as you are. So some people will, for their whole lives, live and die expecting you to be the kind of son that does this. Mm. Or the kind of partner that does that. And they're never going to change. And you're always going to disappoint them because you're never going to do it the right way because it's not ever going to feel like you. And something's always going to feel missing. And the thing that's missing is your full presence. Right. So, yeah. Well, I was just going to say, like, so when you don't accept yourself, then you look for external validation Mm -hmm. to be accepted. But Mm -hmm. what I hear you saying is, is like, until you accept yourself, you could get all the external validation that you want, but it's gotta, it's gotta come from you first. I mean, I can only imagine if I gave you the power, Catherine, to make me feel worthy or not. Yeah. It's like, oh, does Catherine like mm-hmm. me? Does she accept me? And I'm like tweeting her. Oh, she responded to my tweet. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm worthy. I'm worthy. Yeah. But, but then you always need more of that as well. Yes. And, but, but giving someone else that power is um, what makes you powerless. Did you enjoy this standalone Patreon highlight? If so, you can listen to full episodes of The Minimalist's private podcast available exclusively on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash the minimalists or click the link in the description. Your support keeps our podcast and YouTube channel 100% advertisement free.